So you got IP Royal residential proxies. Now what? If you want to start using them, you need to set them up correctly. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire setup process step by step so you can get your proxies up and running in no time. Plus, I'll share a pro tip to help you save bandwidth. Before we dive into setting up residential proxies, don't forget to hit that like button so we can keep bringing you more tips and tutorials like this. All right, let's get started. Follow these steps and you'll have your proxy set up in minutes. First, open your IP Royal dashboard and select Residential from the list on the left. Then scroll down to the Proxy Access section under Authenticated. You'll notice that a proxy hostname, port, username and password have been created automatically, but you can change the username and password if you want. Turn on the high-end pool toggle if you want to access only the fastest residential IPs instead of the entire pool. Use this feature for tasks that benefit from faster connections rather than IP diversity. It's completely free and you can switch it on and off as needed. We'll turn it on. Then it's time to pick your proxy location. Choose from over 195 countries or leave it at random to let the system handle the selection. You can select two countries simultaneously and even specify the city or state of your IPs for free. Let's say you want residential proxies from Berlin, Germany. Next, select the type of proxy rotation you need. Randomize IP gives you a new IP after each request, and Sticky IP lets you keep the same IP for a set amount of time. We'll go with Sticky IP and set the TTL, or time to live, to 45 minutes. You can pick anywhere from 1 second up to 7 days depending on your use case. The IP skipping feature lets you avoid certain IPs. We've already got a skip IP list for Germany ready, so we'll just select it and click save. Use the reset options button here to clear all your proxy settings and start over, or the clear sessions button if you want to create new sticky sessions with the same proxy settings. Now scroll down to the formatted proxy list section. Here's where you'll see your proxy strings comprising your credentials, hostname, port, username and password. You can change the proxy credentials formatting here based on what your tool or system can recognize. We'll stick with the first option. And if you want to use your proxy settings without providing a username and password, choose IP whitelisting. This feature lets you keep the same proxy settings and link it to a specific IP. All you have to do is navigate to whitelist next to authenticated and click the add button. Then set your proxies the same way as we did with the authenticated method and add the IP address you want to whitelist in the options section. Once you're done, click the create button. Then scroll down to the formatted proxy list section and you'll see your proxy credential in the username and port format. Whether you go with the authenticated or whitelisted method, you can change the number of unique sessions you want to generate by typing in the desired number in the quantity field. You can also change the number of unique sessions you want to generate by typing in the desired number in the quantity field. Then use the copy button to grab the entire proxy list or you can manually select and copy any proxy string. If you want to save them, hit the download button and get them as a TXT or CSV file. Remember the tip I promised? If you want to optimize bandwidth usage, use the allowances feature. It lets you allow and block specific domains giving you full control over what your proxies can access. For example, you can save bandwidth and speed up your web scraping projects by simply blocking ad sites and other obsolete elements. Once you've configured your proxy settings and copied your credentials into your app, system or tool, you can start using them to streamline your operations. Don't forget to subscribe for more IP Royal setup guides and integration tutorials and hit the bell icon. See you soon.